Patricia. I'd like to go by Pat. I, um, I'm a retired RN. I did surgery, so you had to push a lot of carts. You had to lift a lot of 300 pound football players. And so I'm not a tall person, so it was really hard on my bones. It was interfering with sleep and stairs and things. And then I knew about Dr. Mesco because I had worked where he did and heard how much he liked Dr. Cochran and how much everybody thought Dr. Cochran did a really good job. He does a super good surgical job. Technically, he's very, very good. Things line up um, very, very well. He has a very cheerful staff. I liked going there. And he does see you after. He isn't the type of a surgeon that just goes in and does the surgery and then his underlings take care of you after. He does it himself. And I was introduced to the X10 by one of his nurses, I think. And uh, I, I'm really pleased with this. I, it's ahead of the other knee. The quad muscle with this X10 is better than the quad from the older one that's a year old. So I was wishing that I could have put it on both knees. Even the incision line healed better. It's way ahead of where this one was. And I found out that when you wake up, you're very stiff, as you know, with osteo. Uh, but I got on the machine, and the machine seemed to get the kinks out of it. I think it advances you in the flexibility just by getting on it when it's stiff, because it's a gentle push in the beginning. And the best thing is, is do you have control of it? Right now I'm working on a sister-in-law. She needs it done, she's walking with the cane. She, her life has become very tiny because she can't go here, can't go there, can't go in the theater. And so I said, do it and you can go back to the theater. She's scared to death of the surgery. Um, and I said, you know, just, I'm an example. Look, it's possible you can do it. Thank you.